All right, um, on to part two. Okay, so we've built this chest, and because we're doing this for a game piece, um, we want to pay attention to the units. So what you want to do for this is you want to go to Customize and Unit Setup. Now, generally, for the most part, it's on unit generic units, which is fine. As long as you go into the unit setup and make sure you pay attention to what the units are made out of. Um, one unit is equal to one inch. Um, most game engines are one unit is equal to one meter. So we need to go in and take care of that. Now, when you're, you're modeling, now that changes everything here. Because now this is basically oh, about 180 feet long. Okay, So we're just going to make a, a chest. We're going to say 2 by... Uh, let's see here. We're going to go 2 by 1 by 3. Actually, no. I'm going to go back. Uh, 2 high, and then this is 3. So let's take a look at that. And then I'm going to just delete this. You can hit the delete key. So let's go in there and uh, zoom extends all. So there's our image. Um, and that looks looks to be the start of a, a decent size for the box. Um, what I think I'm going to do is we're just going to do the shift again. And we're going to move this up like so. And say OK, copy again. And we're just going to turn this into about a 1 for width. So now taking a look at the box itself. And it's always good to kind of adjust yourself and look at this stuff. Um, so let's go back here, and I think I want this a little bit lower, so let's change the height to about 1.5, and then move this downward, okay? So there is, there's that. Alright, now looking at that, um, you know, we can, we can hit Z, and Z will zoom up in there, um, so looking at that looks looks like the size of the chest that I want. Okay, so first thing we're going to do now, this is the, the nice part about um, your interface, is we're going to hide something. Okay, so a lot of your tools are in the right click. So if you right click, we can actually just hide, say hide selection. All right, and if you want to unshow, uh, unhide all, you can unhide it by name or you can just unhide it all. So that's good. So we're going to do this first. Okay. Now, um, looking over here, um, this is your uh, create panel, and this is your modify panel. Our modify panel has actually um, got all the information that the box maintains. Now, if you're looking at your segments here, your width segments, your height segments, um, all that sort of thing, um, we can actually go in and create more segments if we, if we so need to. Um, for right now, though, I'm fine with what we have. So the next thing I'm going to do is you can pull down this box here and create modifiers. Now there's a ton of different modifiers. You can add more and subtract more. and You know, you can mirror, you can uh, melt it if you want. I mean, they're fun to play with, but for the most part, I don't use a whole lot of them personally. Um, they're really nice. Like, uh, you know, some of the modifiers are really nice. Um, but there's this edit poly modifier, which a lot of people use. Now the edit poly modifier creates basically a stack that I can go in and edit this now into um, several bits and pieces. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the edit poly modifier. It's just something I've, I've never really done, uh, never really liked doing. So we can go to edit poly and we can right click on it and say, say collapse all. So when we collapse all, say yes, it turns it, the edit poly into an edit to bull poly. Okay, the editable poly has a little bit more features that you can play with. So now what we can do is we can actually just um, control the edit poly. Now, right now, I'm going to show the interface for the edit poly. So what you can do is with this edit poly is you can go through vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element. Now, the vertexes, if you take a look, and I'm going to just zoom in, Alt-W if you remember from previous video. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to hit the F4 key. Um, and the F4 key basically will show edges. Now if you notice, you clicked on it, it says realistic plus edge faces. You can go back and forth between the two. 
um, and the edge faces will show you all the polygons in there. So we're going to leave that on and the vertexes are, are pretty much these right here. The edges are the points between two vertexes and the borders are a basic um, if I would cut a hole in this so I've, I've got to show you the polygon first so I'm gonna just go here and uh, so this is the polygon and that's basically uh, uh, the surrounding space around the edges now if I would hit delete that creates a box on the inside and from there I can use border to select the edges and that's all that is now I'm gonna undo this and you can always click the uh, undo button up here and I'm going to say go back to select and then uh, elements is uh, elements are basically the object as a whole now see you have two boxes that were attached together and that's a little bit further down but the two objects that are attached together that is it would be two elements in one thing okay so um, now I'm going to go back to uh, the polygon mode and what we can do here is we can simply um, let's start off with making it look like a, a, a the bottom part of a chest. So now I'm holding an Alt and Middle Mouse button. It's the same thing as using the the orbit sub object here, as mentioned before in the the previous example. And what I can do is use that, and I can right click, and you see more options here. Okay, a lot of your options are here as well as here. Now to start out with, find your options here and play with them. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is we want to inset. So it's literally just grab this and we can inset. Now, because the object is so small, I'm going to undo this and then there's a box next to inset. You bring up the settings. And then from there, you can control how much you inset. So when I'm when I move my inset in, I'm going to move it like this, and I'm going to say, hit the checkbox, and it's basically created the inset. Now, from there, I'm going to extrude this downward. Again, I can go in, and you can always click and drag and kind of move up and down. Now, if you see here, I am I move it down, but I don't know how far I moved it down. I could be just above the plane on the bottom side, or I could be just above, or on top. This is where your three-point views come in, in the fact. See from here I see that I can go down a little bit to make more of this type of style of chest. Okay, So I'm going to click on the polygon and that's good right where it is. Oops, now notice I clicked on the polygon and something happened. It went backwards because I didn't checkbox that that polygon. So let's go back and do this again. Let's go extrude and then notice it takes it down to the last setting, so we're good there. And then if we go here, I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to hit extrude. Now, if you notice, it extrudes it inside the same amount. Now, the nice thing is I can move this in and out. Um, so let's go in, and we're just going to kind of in... Uh, nope, excuse me, I'm going to cancel this. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to inset. Now, if you notice, because I saved it as 0.2, it's basically there. Now, what I can do is I want to inset all this stuff here, all right? And so what I'm going to do is instead of insetting all this stuff, I can actually just select. Um, if you can notice here, I'm selecting multiple things, and it's going to go like this. Now, that doesn't isn't what I want because it makes this as an inset. But if I go back and select this one, hit the plus, go back on the next one, hit the plus, rotate around using Alt W, click and hit plus, rotate around, click plus, and let's just for safety's sake, we're going to do the bottom here, and I hit the checkbox because I'm done doing it. There you go. Now you've got you've got inset sides on each one. Now, let's go and basically extrude. So what we can do is we can extrude. I'm going to select this one, and you can see how far it's extruding inward. Um, it looks okay. I think we're good. But instead of doing that, I'm going to hold in control, and I'm going to extrude all these inside a little bit more. 
So if you notice, all the way around, and I'm holding Alt W to go back, holding in Control and selecting. So there are my my intrude or yeah, there are my boxes or my my faces um, extruded inward. Okay, so then I hit check. Um, that means everything is good, and so there is the base of my box. Um, these are just simple things. Get your form down, get it, get everything looking pretty, and then you're set to go. Now, I want to create a little bit more of a um, inside box here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the bottom points like so, and then I'm going to hit scale. Scale is, if you remember, R. And I'm going to grab a handle and I'm going to scale inward. Now, remember I said not to scale because it screws up with your numbers. Well, scaling sub-object doesn't screw up with the numbers. All it's doing is you're moving your, your vertices. So I've just moved this over a little bit. And I've now created more of a uh, box that I want. And then let's go into the other viewport here. And I can extrude those inward as well. Now, if you don't like the way the, the thing is in, 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 intruded, which is extrude inward, and like so, so I can go in and scale accordingly. Now, notice I'm rotating around in the ortho orthographic view. That's a bad thing, and I do it because I'm so used to what, what I'm doing. Now, the orthographic view, if you notice here, um, you can always click on the orthographic and you can go from left, right, all right, and it shows you the shortcut keys and I can zoom in accordingly, all right. Now here, I can go in and let's scale this inward just to, just to get it pretty even. And let's scale this section inward here. And let's just scale that in just... Now, you always want to scale and take a look. See, it's a little bit too thick. Right click and just kind of play around with it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way this is. So I am essentially, um, I'm done with this basic, basic box, all right? And I'm already 12 minutes in, so I'm going to stop and uh, we'll, the next video, we'll work on the chest top, all right?